I have a bunch of things I want to ask you. Let's run through them quickly. Let's start with Stidham. Take us back to a year ago. Do you project him to be an, a, a, a high-level NFL starting quarterback during his career? Do you think he can be the answer for Belichick long-term? He was a great backup, in my opinion, coming out of college at Auburn and had a chance to be developed into a starter. Now, you go back and you watch him against your Jets. They threw him in that game. He threw an interception. Bill got annoyed and, and pulled him out and, and put Tom Brady back in the game. They were up by about 50 points. So, I, from everyone I talk to in the organization, they're excited about his development. He has so much potential. He is gifted. He's been through a lot in his life. He's got some character and some grittiness and toughness to him, but he's not ready yet. I mean, that's the bottom line. He is not ready to lead the New England Patriots, in my opinion. Uh, Brian Hoyer's there, and, and he's a, a really good backup, but they're going to have to make a decision on what to do in terms of is it bringing in a veteran like Andy Dalton to, to kind of stem the tide bef between now and, and when Stidham is ready, or is it drafting another quarterback that they think is going to bring competition and potentially out outplay uh, Stidham at that – number one quarterback position. So it's going to be really interesting to see how it all plays out. But I, the one thing I know from talking to people inside the organization, it's all about patience and waiting to see how the market plays out and not jumping into something too early when they're not ready for it. Fair. So in that vein, it seems very unlikely that they'll wind up with one of the four big quarterbacks that we're all talking about in this draft with Burrow and Tua um, and Herbert and Love. So who then comes next? If Bill wants to take a quarterback in the second round or the third round, Todd, who are we talking about? Jacob Beeson from Washington, who got beat out by Jake Fromm at Georgia, is the most talented of that second level second-tier quarterback, I should say, in this year's class. He's big. He's strong-armed. He can make all the throws. I just don't see him being a fit. He mentally... I don't see him being in that quarterback room and being able to to have those conversations that, that Tom Brady has had for, what, 15, 20 years with, with Bill Belichick. I think Jake Fromm makes a lot of sense, but he doesn't have the physical tools that you would ideally look for. But if you're going to bring in Andy Dalton, I would rather have Jake Fromm because he's the same guy physically and he's younger. And he, he just he understands the game at a high level. Of all the quarterbacks I've sat down and talked to in the last two years in, the, in college football, in the meeting room, like just getting to know them, watching them, listening to what they're saying in response to, to one play to the next, Jake Fromm is the smartest, most mature quarterback that I have been around in the last two years. So Fromm would make a lot of sense, even though physically he doesn't have the tools that you're looking for. And he's struggled in bad weather in, in New England. Obviously, that's, that's an issue. And then, Dan, I'll circle it all the way back to you on the options for the veterans. We know the two guys who were free agents, and they both have you know, well-known resumes. Jameis Winston, Cam Newton, do either of them make sense to you? Quickly. Not at all. If I'm the New England Patriots and my options are those two veterans or sticking with Jared Stidham, I'm absolutely sticking with Jared Stidham and giving him his chance to become the leader of our organization. All right. Hey, Marcus Spears, again, I got 15. You agree with that? Yeah, I, I agree with that. I don't think anyone fits. Look, the one thing that Bill uh, Bill Belichick preaches is taking care of the football, so that possibly eliminates Jameis, and Cam is just not a fit for the type of system that they run unless they're willing to blow it up and change everything. All right, guys, stay with me. We're going to do a lot more as we continue here this morning. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.